what's up youtubers it's your boy G Troop and I'm posting a video today and it's been a long ass fucking time now I this is my fifth take on this video because I've had multiple errors with people yelling in the background and I am going to try to get through this video so let's get on with it um reason I haven't been posting videos in a while is because I've been working trying to get money so I can get more games to record for y'all but the sad part about that is is I'm tired so you'll forgive me if I don't post all the time but the videos I do give you I hope you enjoy now I'm in play I'm playing insurgency a tactical first person shooter off of steam I should have remembered the fucking game company who made it but look it up you can find it yourself you're all a bunch of grown people you know if not, I don't know why you're watching my YouTube channel because I'm going to cuss a lot and I really don't give a fuck. Um, now it's a game that basically it's hardcore 24/7, like not like Call of Duty hardcore, but it is one shot, one kill, depending on where you get hit. You know, you can survive a couple of shots, but you, as you can see, you don't have a health bar or a uh, ammo thing to tell you how much ammo you got. And you don't have a reticle um, after, you know, when you're in hip fire mode. Basically, it's if you land a shot on a person, then you're lucky and you got lucky. Or you were just close enough and they didn't see you or you unloaded the first shot. But it's an awesome game. You can customize the weapons. You don't unlock customizations. All the customizations for the weapons are automatically unlocked. But each one costs a certain amount of points, and each class has a certain amount of points. Some classes have more points than others, I believe. Um, I haven't really looked into that, but we'll, I'll show you the menu later on. Um, it's a very teamwork-oriented game. The community for this game is very, you know, very, uh, they're not assholes, but they can be a bunch of asses because nobody likes to lose, and that's understandable. As you watch as a guy walks in in front of us, and we just light his ass up. Um, but the community again in this game they're real good I enjoy the company there's not a lot of them so you do run into the, some of the few same people but I love playing with them they're great you know uh, you seen that guy get lit up I didn't run out exactly right away there's a sliding mechanism as you saw a second ago where that guy slid you know and I accidentally flashed my mom and guy but on honestly bud if you see this video it was your fault you saw me had a grenade in my hand I'm sorry if that makes you mad me saying that, but shit happens. I hope we know when we play again that doesn't happen. But uh, you can see as we lit up them, uh, the uh, insurgents as they're running across that opening. You know, if if you work with your team, you pretty much can do it and uh, have a good time and you know get a bunch of kills. Um, another thing in this game, as you can tell, is it doesn't tell you when you're getting get get to get a kill. It doesn't tell you that you. Uh, you have to confirm your kill yourself. Yes, you do get points for them, but you don't. It doesn't tell you when you hit them like it does in Battlefield or Call of Duty, where it gives you a little sign that says, "Oh, you hit hit that person." That doesn't happen in real combat. You gotta make sure you killed them, and you gotta make sure you you confirmed it. Um, so it's very you know, is did I kill them? Because if you shoot them behind the wall, you don't know if you killed them, if uh, they survived or not. They could be laying down. They could have got away. They could be in a different position. Trust me, this has helped me and brought he brought an advantage to me because a lot of times I've been shot at, I've run around a corner and survived and got into a different position and waited for them to walk in and I've lit his ass up. And it's also worked against me because I shot somebody and I thought, oh, I got him, I'll be okay. Me being a battlefield person, I'm used to the game telling me when I killed somebody. So I walked around the corners and I got lit up. As you can see, when you die, the camera follows your you know the head your eyes wherever they go so if you fall forward the camera's gonna fall forward if you fall sideways the camera's gonna fall sideways if your guy rolls while he's dying as you see as I fall downstairs my guy rolls a little bit the camera follows which I really like that has realism that has a little bit of realism makes it better and here's the menu I was telling you about with all different things for different guns I usually run engineer and take off my explosive and then put on AP rounds or you know HE rounds whichever I prefer that round you got different types of armor. Your light armor costs nothing. Heavy armor, I believe, costs three points. You know, but uh, each different armor, uh, 
weighs you down a certain amount. If you wear no armor, you don't get weighed down. Um, the blur in this game is really good. When you get shot at, your guy panics. He'll, he will say, fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no, no. I don't want to die. Shit like that. Um, which is really cool. I usually don't handle explosives in this game because they're really usually very dangerous. And uh, they have they have a greater field of uh, field of uh, fucking killing a kill zone. They have a greater kill zone than other games I've noticed. Uh, I was playing a match earlier where a guy shot an RPG, and I didn't think I would have been killed by it. As you see, my friend got got the drop on me and ganked me. And, uh, and if you listen, you can hear him hollering, and I don't know what godforsaken language that is he was hollering in, but he was hollering in it, and he ran up to me and, you know, gutted me like a pig. But one thing I love about this game is uh, when you're close to an enemy, you can hear them talking on their microphones. If they're using their microphones, you can hear them. So it's really cool. Uh, it makes it like you're right next to them, and, like, they're actually, you know, you can actually spy on them. Now, I pop around this corner. I find this guy, I shoot at him, I miss my first couple shots. He turns around, luckily he doesn't get a shot off at me. I kill him, and I get lucky there. That was luck that he didn't get a shot off because I should have hit him. There was no discipline in my fire. I should have stopped and took a shot and killed him right away. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. At least I got a kill. But, um, there's different game modes. There's infiltration, firefight, and there's even a co-op game mode, there, you know, where you can play against, you know, uh, play with teams against the enemy against the enemy AI on different maps and it's that's cool I love that you know it you know makes it a fun little game mode uh, now the how the infiltration work or not infiltration but on um, firefight works infiltration will get into that later you'll see later on in the video by the way um the way uh firefight works is basically you have three points is A B and C A you are at control B is neutral and C is enemies now when you there's multiple ways to win when you die if your teammates capture let's say B you get reinforced what reinforced means that everybody who died respawns if your whole team dies and didn't capture any points the enemy wins you can do it's basically and then it's vice versa so you know there's a couple more game modes I don't know them all yet I haven't played them all so uh, just you know I'll post more videos on them game modes as you can see, I usually run with a, a red dot two times zoomed, um, or I run with a hollow. As you can see, that guy slides and does some James Bond shit on me. Dude who did that, I want you to know that was fucking pimp and fucking awesome. I am not even mad that, you know, you got lucky and dodged my shots. That was some James Bond fucking secret agent shit. That was some Batman shit. If Batman killed people and was an insurgent Taliban. But, uh... You know, it's, you know, as watch as the bullets hit the wall right there, you know, they are actually very fierce looking. Um, I've noticed in other games are not as, you know, yeah, fucking yeah. noticeable. But I noticed that that guy was shooting at me and I did not stay to let him hit me. Because I was laying right there where he was shooting, so he would have clipped me in the head. Um, I do advance down and, uh, I try to find him. Like I said, it doesn't tell you if you killed the enemy. So when I actually do pop off a shot, I had no idea if I killed him or not. I didn't care enough to find out. All I wanted to do was scare him and get him out of his position because I know some of my teammates are coming around to kill him. And I didn't need to kill. I, my job, you know, your job isn't to get kills in this game. Your job is to help your team. Don't be that person like you see in Call of Duty or Battlefield. All they care about is kills and kills and kills and kills because that game, them games would be a lot better if people worked together a lot more. This game doesn't have an extremely large community like them game does do, but the community in it is very good and they're very real to the game. They're very, you know, let's do this. As you can see, this is the menu for all the shit that you can get. I usually run engineer. Um, I usually take off my explosives. Usually put a heavy barrel or you know an HE round with a foregrip and a hollow or a two dot, like I said. And uh, this is a different map. This is infiltration. This uh, infiltration is basically uh, each team has a set of uh, okay. intel, and one team has to go get it. And like I said, it's like firefight, where if you capture enemy's intel, all the guys who have died on your team come back. Down, then he captures their intel, your intel. 
they get all their guys back. And if you kill the carrier, you get your guys back too, which is another awesome thing. So if you kill the carrier, you get your guys back. If you they kill, you know, their your carrier, they get their guys back. So it's very, you know, cool. As you can see, I almost get it up. You can survive. Luckily, I had heavy armor on. Um, heavy armor does weigh you down. Um, light armor doesn't weigh you down as much. And no armor weigh, doesn't weigh you down at all. Now, I go around and I'm trying to find a guy who's shooting at me. I didn't want to engage him in the open because he had to drop on me there. Um, so, I was going around. I think he seen me going around. So, he was going to, you know, try to flank against me. Which, um, you'll see in a second, did not work to his advantage because he ran around the corner. I try not to run around corners in this game because I've noticed that if I do, I usually I end up in the fire. face of an AK or the face of a really angry Taliban. And, uh, I'll watch as, yep, he ran around the corner. I dropped him. And, uh, now I reloaded and I continue. I don't know if, uh, I die here or not, Pop but, uh,. Oh yeah, this is, okay, I know what's going to happen right here. I grab the enemy intel, all my guys come back, and all of a sudden, boom, right there. I fucking get my legs blown out from underneath of me by a C4, I believe. Um, the maps are really good. I love the maps, the shadowing, the detail. It doesn't, you know, my computer isn't the greatest computer. It's, you know, it is a beautiful computer, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not the greatest. But it runs this game really well, and this game has some it has some great graphics to it. Uh, it doesn't have destruction like Battlefield and shit like that, but it, you know, it doesn't need all that to be, you know, a great game. Battlefield does that because they can do that, and good for fucking them. I love Battlefield, not the downgrade Battlefield. I don't get me wrong, I'm a big Battlefield fan. I play it a lot, and Battlefield 4 is great. Fuck. Call of Duty Ghost, that game fucking sucks donkey dick, and if you're a Call of Duty fanboy and you're listening to this, fuck you. Um, as you can see, I'm reloading. You don't, you don't have an ammo counter, so you don't know how many bullets you got. Basically, you gotta, you know, know, you know, remember to reload when you get the chances. You do have a magazine count, so you do know how many magazines you got, but they don't, it's not like 30 out of 120 ammo like, you know, some games do. It's... I have five mags, fully loaded mags. Now I can reload one, and you know, it, it's it's cool. I like the way they do that. As you see, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to find a guy who's been shooting at us. He doesn't. He's not getting shots shot, shots off at me, which I'm glad. I'm uh, not too worried right now. I'm just falling back in, and uh, I'm gonna let him advance because I don't like being killed too much. I I don't care. You know, if it's a good death scene, but if it's you know why just constantly dying I don't care to do that I try to make sure I don't die a lot because I don't want y'all seeing that side of me where I suck in a game but uh I do suck in some games once in a while now I come up here and I'm I find one of my guys up here you know and I kill a guy that was sitting there I don't know why he wasn't killing him um gambler if you're watching this I don't know why you didn't see him sorry if I took a kill guy advances up the stairs I was reloading luckily I got saved by the wall killed him before he could kill my teammate and me I think he was reloading too um but I got lucky you know the wall saved me and uh, I think he lost focus on me because he was worried about my teammate and I still got the shots off my teammate was telling me that he was gonna cover me so I started advancing out and I start moving as you can see they have great shadowing in this game um trash floating in the air like it's actually you know in a country that's been torn apart by war you know not uh, you know there's gonna be litter and stuff you'll see this guy gets dropped he gets headshotted bad another thing is when you get shot you can hear the bullets hit you if you listen there you can hear the bullets hitting my back and my stomach as I turn around which you know sucks but it's you know cool that was short I came back right away because somebody catch intel but uh and it's um you know it's a good game I love it I enjoy it you know I still got a few more minutes to talk about this game um let's see what else we can talk about hopefully after that okay as you see there's a good amount of people on the server you know when I was, when you saw the game, it tells you how many people were playing, and I usually see about most 800 people, 894 people, which isn't a lot, sadly. But at the same time, like I said earlier, the community in this game is fucking awesome. I love them. They're awesome people. You know, they can sometimes be assholes when you lose a match, which is understandable. Nobody likes losing. I don't blame them. 
you know, but uh, they are willing to talk to you, help you out. Um, each character is different, each, you know, not different, but uh, each, you know, like you have uh, your fucking uh, rifleman, your engineers, your specialists. Specialists look like they would be special forces. As you watch, I'm start, I get shot at. I go to pop back around the corner, start shooting. You can lean. I'm popping. See that grenade fly by. I should have saw that. That was error on my part for not paying attention and focusing on just on killing I somebody. Dead, bro, I shouldn't have done that. When I responded though, I ran oh, with a sniper. Man, okay. um, they come in on the other side. I realized that this map really wasn't good for sniper for me. Um, I need long ranges. I don't do short ranges. So I lo use a pistol with AP oh. rounds. I uh, got lucky here. Luckily, I decided I would go check up here, and this guy, I believe he had a machine gun. I don't think he expected my pistol to be loaded with AP rounds, so he just was hip firing. I unloaded on his ass, and I got lucky and got the kill. Now, uh, I'm trying to see if my buddy saw anything that I could go pick off and kill, but as again, as you see, there was nothing, and it was too short range and too risky for him to pop my whole body out, so I was leaning out. I decided I would go prone and crawl across and you know enjoy the beauty of this turquoise blue fucking wall and check my score and see what was going on um, but I did mostly run with a, a pistol I don't know what that fireball that went by was I think that was just like a little fireball demon you know the demon gods telling me to kill more people you know blood for the blood god um, I seen an enemy, he got away, I don't think he heard my shot, luckily, because he would probably rushed up there and murdered me, but, uh, so I was, uh, gonna try to find him. I think I did kill him, that was his body, so I must have killed him. I killed that guy, enemy grabbed an intel, luckily I was right around the corner, but somebody had planted C4 and blew the enemy up. As you see, I, uh, this is a whole different part of the match, I, uh, with advanced enemy, enemy intel, found the guy, could, couldn't tell if I killed him. And that's another thing, you can't, like I said, you can't tell if you killed him, so, basically, it's either you killed him or you didn't. I don't I'm think I did, or if I did, you know, that was his buddy who popped around the corner and lit me up. And this is a different map called Ministry. Um, it's a, basically, indoor, close quarter combat map with its, uh, wide area maps, like, underground, wide areas, like, uh, underground garage and open, uh, plaza. And it's, you know, I like this map a lot. Um, I like it when I'm playing the security forces and more than the insurgents. I know that sounds, you know, weird, but I don't care to play the insurgents for some reason because to me they're just, you know, I like the security forces. They're boss as fuck looking. I decided to run with a saw in this match help. and uh, with a hollow. Okay, and, uh, and I don't know if I had four, but I do believe I had AP rounds and heavy armor. Yeah, on. Now as uh, as my uh, girlfriend said earlier when I was doing editing of this I'm video, it. she said it sounded like somebody was jerking off. Uh, I'm on the way to Charlie. Fat, 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 Charlie fat, now. actually the sound of my Charlie's boots hitting attack. the ground because my guy is a little bit heavier than the other ones. Okay, I'm moving to and, uh, I went down to the garage, I took the, we I took another route to the garage, and there's multiple routes in the game, which is really fucking awesome, I love that. You know, you got different routes, you know, to take, so you don't have to choose one route all the time. You know, it doesn't go in one big circle all the time. I mean, it does go in one big circle, but you have so many routes to take that you can cut through that circle. You can fucking do -si do with that circle. Nobody gives a fuck what you I lit that guy up who was uh, trying to kill my teammate. I don't know if he did. Um, Bravo is clear. We got is, it. Be careful when you're playing this game. If, you, if your teammate is in front of you, try not to I'm shoot him. Because you can kill a teammate. I didn't end up killing a teammate earlier named Jax. Charlie has been secured. Nice. Moving to Alpha. Sock. I'm moving to Alpha. But, uh, it is what it is. We're playing uh, firefight in this mode, and uh, we captured. We basically captured A, B, and C, and it's gonna be. Uh, you know, we just gotta finish capturing A, and it's gonna be a victory. I don't know if we capture it here, but uh, I got about a minute more to talk. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. I can't promise you I'm gonna be posting videos weekly. It's gonna be whenever I get the chance, whenever I have time. But a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.